action. Hello people, today we're gonna to try Elijah Craig Straight Rye, Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey, 94 proof, 47% alcohol. First, oh, it's Elijah Craig distilled in Kentucky, first to char oak barrels. What was it? <laughs> Everybody's the first to do everything. Maybe Elijah Craig is the first. It says it's spicy rye, perfectly balanced with corn <laughs> for a distinct smooth taste but of course has that whiskey <laughs> i'm joking so let me uh open this up this one is pretty simple pretty easy to take the plastic off <laughs> man i think it's pretty easy thought it was easy maybe i'm going to the wrong spot <laughs> you're the best you're the best you can take the plastic plastic down i'm getting it i'm getting it i'm getting it in Sort of like when you can't get the plastic off. <laughs> Put it in the pocket. So you know I'm a big fan of the Elijah Craig barrel proofs. I can't wait to try B521. I don't know when it's coming out, but it should be out right around now. Other than that pop. I want to make sure I get my boogers <laughs> into the barrel. Mm. Nothing is this nice, nice uh Golden, golden color. Do you want me to pour you some? It's beautiful. Would you like for me? You gotta pass the cup. Pass the cup. Here we go. Pass the cup. Doom, 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 doom. Here you go. Thank you, sir. And me and the non-expert swirler that I am, I use, I use the table. We get an Orlin glass, which I think is the most excellent glass on the planet. We're gonna swirl, open up this this fine rye whiskey. And what is the proof on this? 94 percent, or ninety four proof. Ninety four proof. Ninety four proofs. Forty seven percent. Ninety four percent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We totally, yeah. totally loaded, right? On the smell for me. I get cherries. Subtle, subtle spice. Okay, what is that? This is a $30, around $30, $25, $30 bottle. I haven't really heard too many people talking about it, so I'm really tempted to see, is it great? You know? Yeah, that's all I'm getting right now is, well, spice, I'm thinking about cherry pie. Okay. She's my cherry pie. Yeah. That's, I'm thinking of that song. Cherry pie comes to mind. Yeah, for me, I, yeah, I get cherries. I don't get nothing else. But it smells pretty decent, though, because I keep sniffing it. Mm hmm. You ready to dive in? Let's dive in. Cheers. All right. Let me get a little sip. I'll take another sip. What I would say is this. I can see why nobody's really been making a lot of reviews because this is not gonna this is not gonna wow you. It's just a a decent rye whiskey. I, I give this around a, for me, this is how I think. I'm taking another sip. I don't wanna I don't wanna miss Yeah. This this is a you can share it, you can give it, you know, I really it's a it's a it's a great give and it's a it's a decent share. The the finish is Subtle, so it's starting. I can tell that, and you brought this out to compare. Is that what it is? That what you want me to do? I'm assuming. 
Well, I, if you don't, I am going to prepare. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Not a problem. <laughs> you know, let me take another sip. How much does the pike bill cost? You remember? I think 50 tells a lot, a little bit more, but. Okay, I'll do it right now. Come on. Let me go. And sip some water. On the pike's bill is uh, 110. Yeah, so. Yeah, I would sip this, but. What would you give it? I didn't give a score yet. I wouldn't know if you're going to. I would give it a. I would give it a five. I, I was going. I did. It's just it's just average. It's yeah. like it's nothing spectacular. I agree with you on that. I'm sorry to say. Okay. You gotta pour yourself. Okay. Okay. You know I'm selfish in the pouring. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, but I I will say this is one of the Pikes Bill. Uh, the Elijah Craig does smell better. If you sniff the two, yeah, like the correct smells better. Let's see if it tastes better. Yeah, I agree one hundred percent on you with that on, one. On the smells, it's a good seven and a half, eight. It's, just, it's a good smell. Yeah, it smells better than it tastes to me. Yeah, I give it just a uh, five, five and a half, because it's just yeah. six, maybe. It's like it's not horrible. So five would be right in the middle. I say five and a half to six more than I say just flip five. For it, let me try the packs meal. Yeah, this is just, uh, <laughs> hold on. You know, let me drink some water again. We'll go back to the light of Craig. Smells good, though. I'll be going to sniff it. It's not bad, so I will give it a five and a half, six, but it's nothing, it's not like spectacular. It's just decent. It's just, yeah. Decent. For the price, is 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 great for the price with your thirty dollars. No, it's, it's it's decent. You know, it's real decent. Yeah, it deserves. You know, I better at that price, but it wasn't like woo hoo. And it had nothing to do with the proof, like because they're really close, right? At a hundred proof. How much? Uh, one ten. Price was one ten. Okay, it's a little off, but I'm gonna try again. This is more of an experience. I can't remember what I gave you. I, I want to say I gave it like a 6.5. So I'm probably sure I, I did. Uh, uh, Python? Yeah, I don't remember what I ranked it. But if I had to choose which one is more of an experience, is the Pikesville. Which one is more of the easy, everyday sipper that you just get off of work and drink is this. Pikesville is more, is more, don't smell as good though. Yeah, on the nose, Elijah Craig, to me, wins. Yeah, but the taste, um, the Pikeville is more outstanding. It's more, it stands out, where this is more just a, let me take a little sip. But color is, is like, they're real close. They're both pretty, so they can't even front. Can't even front. I want to, I really want to say the light clay looks a little bit darker, but it depends on, you know, glass, how much probably is in it. They look real similar. Let me taste the ice cream again. Maybe I'm not being fair. No, this is just your everyday sipper. It's not nothing super special. It's, it's, it's probably better than average, but I ain't had nothing horrible yet to compare it to. That's my problem. It's for, for me, this is decent, but I'm not like, I'm not going through that like, wow, this is so, it's cool, but it, it's, it's other stuff. Way way better, but the price I'm not so sure. And me drinking these two ryes, the one that I still love and I think was the best rye I ever have was the Willet for me. Cause I love the way it smells and I love. You gotta get it again. That's right. Okay. You ain't got no more, right? No. <laughs> How good it was. There's no more, but I can yeah. order some.
One of the rides I want to try that people said were good was the Angel's Envy ride. Yeah, this is the more challenging of the drink. That's what it is. It's just a more of a challenging drink. This is a more easy drinker. It's a more sippable. That's what I think. Like, if you had to choose which one you would want to drink just every day, which one would you choose? Elijah Craig or the Pikesville? Right now, Pikesville. Over, every day? I would choose just to drink every day, just to drink. I would choose this. This is more intense. This is more, I'm drinking it to get a more of an effect. This is more, you just. So you say if you're gonna mix it with something, you use the, the Elijah Craig, you wanna drink it uh, neat, you would use Elijah Craig. It depends what I'm going for. So if I want to share something, I want to share the Pikesville because this is something that is unique. This is this is probably going to taste like so many other rides out there. I don't think this is like a spectacular. It's nothing unique with the taste. It tastes decent, tastes yeah. good, but that's what I mean. So this is something that is easy, easy, like it's easy to purchase, and it's forgettable. So not like super forgettable, but I'm not going to be able to say, "Ooh, this is Elijah Craig rye." where Pikesville kind of got a unique taste. I don't know what that is. So that's more of special for me. But I, I would probably because it's so intense, they probably wear me out. Well, this, I ain't gonna get bored. This is, I mean, this is, this, it is bored. So how you gonna get bored of it? You know what I mean? But that's already, already bored. Taste of slight vanilla, little spice, slight caramel, little brown sugar, Little brown sugar. CNH. <laughs> no, it's, it's, um, yeah, this is that regular drink. This is something different. This one right here is something different. That's why I think this is, I break this higher, but you got to be ready for this. That's what I think. I ain't even watching the palate no more because I know what it tastes like. This is a little bit more harsh, too. This is more yeah. smooth. This one is like, whoa, this one is like, it's like, truthfully to me, it's like drinking water. That's really what it tastes like, I'm sipping on it. But you can just take this, like some water and not even think about it, you know? Somebody pour this in a glass, you're like, would you give me some water or some whiskey? <laughs> That's what you'll be thinking like, seriously. I'm not really tripping off this. Tastes good, some good water. High quality H2O. <laughs> uh, that's some high quality H2O. But I do think it's good. This is way more potent. It tastes more potent. Well, it would surprise me to be able to find a whiskey that was as potent as this that tasted like that. Because it seems like the more the higher proof you do get it, this has a way more longer uh, uh, exposed finish that it hits you. This one is subtle and it increases. That's what I can tell by drinking it. Uh, I, I recommend them both. I think that the Pikesville is for the, 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 the whiskey drinker who wants um, that challenging rye. This is it. You want the basic rye? That's why people ain't saying nothing much about it, even though it's been hyped up. It's just another good uh, drink that's cheap from Elijah Craig, and it's better than probably a lot of other cheap whiskey that are rye out there. I don't know. Gotta find. We gotta start searching for some garbage. I mean, I shouldn't say that. We gotta start searching for ones that we don't know if they're good or not. <laughs> we didn't know that was good. We gotta start searching for just random stuff and try it. That's what we're gonna do. That's the plan. Anyway. Um, cheers to myself. Cheers, people. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm about to get back in it, dive into this. And uh, we're going to, you know, talk to y'all later. Maybe with a long conversation about absolutely nothing. Like we're good at doing. Have a great one.